Hello YouTube and welcome back to IT Master Tech News Channel. Today we will continue our Linux installation series on the Dell XPS 13 uh, Core i5 128 SSD 4 GB RAM. It's back to 2012 and it's 8 years old. So we currently have the MX Linux installed and we do the, our last video on this series which will be Ubuntu. The latest version of Ubuntu. Let's get started. We are back to the laptop. We have a USB drive inserted and we have downloaded the Ubuntu latest version of Ubuntu ISO and we have a Rufus to create a bootable USB. So we will select the Ubuntu 20.04 and then hit start it will ask write iso mode recommended we will say yes and it will say that your flash drive will be erased so make sure guys you delete or uh, backup everything from the flash drive you will be used because it will be formatted and recreated hitting ok and the process is started it's doing the creating partitions and copying the iso files Let's uh, stop here and then the flash drive will be ready. We will move on and we'll do the installation. Okay. Flash drive is getting ready. So total time is, uh, as you can see, five minutes and some 40 seconds. But I think, yeah, it's ready. We just need to close and eject the uh, USB drive. Okay, we are taking in and going to laptop. So we are back to our the laptop. We will put the flash drive to USB port and then we will restart the machine. Sorry. Restart. It says Restart and we need to hit the F12 button because this one is bringing to a uh, boot selection menu. On the Dell laptops, it's uh, usually F12. If you do for other laptop, it will be F9, F11 depends from the model and manufacturer. So we choose USB storage. And as you can see, Ubuntu is starting. <clears throat> Flash drive is blinking, which means the process is going. Let's see how will the first installation step starts. Okay, Ubuntu logo, checking disks. Yeah, because uh, it's possible to use Windows and Ubuntu at the same time. If you have a Windows machine and have a look, uh, space on your C drive, you can use and have both operating systems in the same machine. But for me, it's uh, just a, a video preview for the YouTube channel, so I am I don't have anything installed on this laptop, and I can format C drive wherever I want, so there is nothing to lose. But if you will try on your laptop. You just need to make sure you have all the backup files, at least, uh, so don't lose the files after the process will go on. So the checking disk is moving. Let's stop here and then come back when it will be finished. So now we are back to the wizard. We need to select uh, English, try Ubuntu. You can choose and not install and install Ubuntu. We need to install. So hit the install button. And English US, you can choose whatever you want. We don't need the connection now. You can hit continue without internet connection and normal installation. Office, uh, you can choose minimal installation, just will be lighter web browser and basic utilities. And uh, normal installation, web browser, utilities, office software, games, media players. We choose this one. And then, 
Okay. Install Ubuntu alongside. You see, it's asking me if I want to keep other version or erase disk and install Ubuntu. We choose this one because I don't want to keep the MX uh, Linux version. So we need the clear installation. So it says that everything will be deleted. Just a warning. We hit continue. And here you choose the your time zone. I will leave as it is. And here we need to provide your name, your computer name, password. Let me type that very fast and come back. So installing system now it's processing. Uh, file copying process is ended. As you can see, flash drive is not blinking. It means there is no action, but now it starts. So retrieving some files. And actually this part is going on the uh, laptop SSD now and reading uh, some files from here but main portion of, portion of the files are copied to the SSD so detecting hardware configuring hardware and you are seeing some uh, windows uh, from the Ubuntu interface so configuring hardware it detects your uh, sound devices, graphic devices. So it's trying to install the drivers which are embedded on the installation package. As you can see, I am not connected to the internet. So everything is happening locally, no downloads. Flash drive, our, uh, flash drive is stopped blinking. And the rest of process is going on. Let's come back when it will be reached to the end. So we are now done, installation is complete, as you can see. So it's asked for the restart now. We should hit this. And then wait for the first boot up. It's now going to restart. Please remove installation media and press enter. Remove this and press enter. So we are now going to the first boot up. Again, the, this laptop is eight years old. It has a Core i5 first generation CPU, four GB RAM and 128 GB of SSD. For this type of laptops, if Windows 10 is running slow, always there are Linux systems which run faster and everything is running smooth. As you can see how fast it's boot up. Let me type the password. Okay, now we are in. Let's see how the first boot up look like. Okay, it says live patch. Would you like to set up live patch because the it's a security thing, but we will do it uh, later because we are not connected to the internet. What we have here, we have a Firefox web browser, Thunderbird mail client, we have File Explorer. It's very similar to the Windows experience. We have Readbox, this is a music player, LibreOffice Writer. LibreOffice Writer is the alternative of the Microsoft Office, which is uh, totally free and there is no licensed things. It can save you and there is a welcome Ubuntu thing. Let's go next. Your system, you can choose the do not system info if you don't want to be in that location services. You can turn on, off, and you are ready to go. So this is how the Ubuntu runs on the Dell XPS 13 inch laptop. And here is the launcher. As you can see, all calendar, all the settings, disk usage, language, translators, everything. And this is a similar to the Windows start bar. So we are, we hit the 
done and that's it this is my user folder and here we have the battery uh, notifications brightness volume wi-fi all the toggle settings and here is the power of logout etc this is it guys hope you like the video and it will be useful for my some users hit like and subscribe button and thanks for watching stay well stay cool peace guys